welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Yvonne and for today we are going to talk about the lady down there yes today we are going to talk about Yokochi. so uh, let's go straight to the video so first of all we are going to talk about how to wash it down there how do you wash it do you use soap do you use scented soap? Do you use non-scented? Do you use a uh, detox? Uh, what are they called? Detox pulse? Pills pulse? Yeah, for down there. The ones that you insert, you insert inside? Or how do you clean it? For me, I use water. Basically water. And the, on the outer, outer part, I use uh, mild soap. That is what I use. Now we are going to talk about all the things that you can do down there, how you can clean it, how for it to smell nice. By nice I mean it's natural form. So um for example, no for example here. Now when come when it comes to washing your kuchi, you have to be very gentle. Like the same way you'll wash your face gently, but now when it, when it comes to down there, you have to be like ten times or five times more gentle than your face because that part that part is very sensitive. It's very sensitive, and you have to be very cautious while washing it and the type of products that you use for detoxing. There are these they are like two pearls. The, the like oval shaped parts that they are in kabag that you insert they really cleanse your kuchi inside to let it remove all the dirt that may have remained after your period and all of that and all the germ or maybe after an infection you can use a detox max uh, detox peel pal pal yes to cleanse your kuchi and also the same way you would um, exfoliate your face, you have to also exfoliate down there. You can use a, a loofah or a washcloth or the, what are they called? The, the gloves that you, what are they called? Exfoliating gloves, yes. <laughs> exfoliating gloves. I would really prefer an exfoliating glove because you will really like get in, in, in between the the cabin part very nicely and all the corners of it and you have to really like wash it and they are so like gentle and also cleans very nicely giving you a a clean and a healthy kuchi so for me i use just a washcloth i haven't bought the exfoliating glass and my cloth is very gentle and it's only for down there you have to have like she you have your face towel, you have your body towel, you have your your face uh, what are they? your face washcloth. You also have to have your body washcloth, and you're down there also to have its own washcloth that you have after every time you wash your body. You have to cleanse it and uh, cleanse it and heal jumps also. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, and also detoxify it and let it smell nice and be clean to be also use it next time. And when it comes to shaving. Now shaving, I don't know how you shave, but how you shave will really matter how your kuchu will, will look. The appearance. You have to... What I do, or some people what they do, you shave with the scissors. Others use a uh, Gillette razors to shave down there. Others peel mask, not peel mask. Others use what is this called? Vit to like remove all the hair, but it doesn't really remove the inside. Just moves the top layer. That what I know about Vit, and also Sneer. I think it does the same thing as Vit, but this one Sneer is more um more powerful on hair removal and um, yeah and also on scissors scissors actually it's a little bit safe but now with this one <laughs> with scissors you have to like position yourself you know in an angle where you have to get to all the you know all the corners 
to really shave it nicely on the same level there for those who shave like a heart yeah. shape the mohawk shape others who just go jordan like clear smooth nothing no spots no nothing and there's no way like your coochie will be smooth spotless no nothing never only in the movies because those things highly 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 uh have makeup yes you can also apply makeup on your on your V down there actually so that only happens in the movie in the real life you might have a little bit of bumps let's be honest and it's not as bright as that of the tv or the ones that you see in the movies it's not down there it's just a little bit you know a little bit darker but that's the way it is but if you're not comfortable with the way it is you can apply makeup if the one you know if your partner is not comfortable with it uh you can apply makeup but either way it's yours make it the way you want no one will judge you it's yours if he's not comfortable because i don't see the big deal of it that's how it looks there's nothing you can do about it you can't change it you can't remove it and take another one and put it back no that's the way it is whoever who doesn't like it think there's a problem right there and um after exfoliating you have to like let it breathe and wash it with water now when exfoliating you can decide to use um non-perfumed non-perfumed uh, soaps they're just mild nothing else just uh they just soap but don't wash the inside because it will cause an infection and we don't want an infection we want a healthy v yes we want a healthy v and using soap you have to go only on the outer part of it don't go inside it won't be comfortable but if you want to go inside with water only ladies water only soap will cause infections i have suffered from infections for like some years and it's not pleasant at all you might be good on one month the next month or three months that are coming you have an infection you take medication you do what still an infection so also the way you use your toilet you have to be very careful don't go just splash while you're peeing like with all the pressure that you have uh control the pressure the way you release your pee and don't bend too low to the toilet you can like raise yourself up it will avoid the uh, splashing and all of that and also you have to like you have to apply some jelly you can use a remis a remis is that good <laughs> a remis or vaseline or any milking jelly that you have that really works good for you uh to really moisturize then uh not the whole part the upper part only actually the upper like see like it's shaped like a heart so the bigger part of the heart you have to like you have to like shape it uh to apply your milking jelly to give it some um shine and uh, tenderness now those who use razors i've tried uh razors and uh it really left out some painful uh, what are they called they were like cysts and ingrown hairs and um, and bumps and cuts like let me know the type of razor that you use comment down below please please let me know the kind of razor that you use you might help me and help, help somebody else also and um, with razors I, I, I stopped using razors after that because it wasn't really pleasant for me it was uh, discouraging and so uncomfortable and when I would wear like a panty the friction would really get me so itchy I don't know how other people like um, how they shave <coughs> if they use a shaving cream what type of shaving cream do you use I only use a uh, 
razor oh, scissors sorry i only use scissors and i don't shave the whole part only shave that the top layer only to keep it on the same level and to keep it clean and also washing it helps me to reduce the friction of my clothes and my panties and also i just like it leveled not so clean na 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 um I, that's what i do what do you do let me know down in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel please 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 and let me know the kind of videos that you would like me to be sharing um on the girls series let me know and also i'll be doing a guys girls series yes i will doing i'll do that very very soon and also if you would like to see my exercises routines i will do a poll on instagram you will the higher votes will win my how i exercise or how i braid myself i don't go to the salon i braid myself i do my own hairstyles even though they are not that good but i prefer doing them myself because i'm tender headed so i need to be very cautious with myself if you would like to see such videos please leave a comment down below letting me know how or which type of videos that you would like to see from me and we've come to the end of this video now mm, before we end this video during your period you have to have a set of wipes not only tissues but wipes because the tissues might not get very well or clean very well down there a set of uh, wipes the baby wipes i suggest they are the best they are less scented they're just very good anything that is good for the baby i will suggest you use it down there because it would be nice also for you during summer you know when you sweat and you haven't cleaned down down there it really you will know somebody who hasn't like cleaned properly because it really smells and it's not a good picture you don't look nice on your face and letting your body stink smell nice from your face down to your toe smell nice from your fingers from your nails and everything and don't let your lady part down there smell bad drink a lot of water exercise for for my girls who feel like they have a loose or a not so tight uh kuchi, you can do exercise that exercises that help to like tighten that part yeah the the kajal exercises they really do help to tighten that part and um drinking water and fruits the type of veggies you will eat and uh, actually let me say this in general all veggies are good for down there all veggies are good all fruits are good down there pineapple the best and watermelon because they are my favorite so um after that all is said and done actually if you would like to see a video of me to talk about the fruits and the and the fruits and foods that will help you look and smell nice down there let me know down in the comment section and bye for now till next time bye bye